Hey, Dietta here. I know we have not been doing much since May 25th with either the blog or the videos, but the truth is we have been busy and I have been taking video clips so and pictures and I will try to get those um, edited and posted shortly. But we've discovered that springtime here in Alaska is when you work. You work hard, try to get all your projects done so when summer really hits and all the fishing runs and hunting comes in the fall, you've got things done and you can go play. And so that's what we've been doing. I am going to post, um, hopefully in the next few days, I'll start posting some of the older ones and just kind of work my way forward. So we're fine getting things done. Any of you chicken lovers out there, I would love to know what time your chickens go to bed. Because mine, it is 10.30 at night here. And I just finally got them in the coop. And I can hear them over there clunking away and jumping off roosts. And I just don't know if it's normal for them to want to stay up till midnight or if it's because we have so much sun. Um, would love some info on that and how to maybe coerce them for an earlier bedtime. Because some nights I don't want to stay up this late either. <laughs> 10 o'clock at night, June 11th. Trying to get the girls to go in. I just, I understand why they would want to stay out and play. Well, I got them all inside. And they're settling in. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh. trying to get out. I better get out of here before they all come out again. So the boys got out here today. It's about 10.30 at night now. And they took down all the grass and devil's clubs going out there with a the weed eater and machetes. Mike and I had an appointment at the neurologist today, which uh, was good. No new major things with the Parkinson's, just switching some meds that will hopefully, uh, putting him on a time release cinemat, which will hopefully help him sleep through the night and not have so much uh, dream, oh, I don't even know what they call it. He acts out some dreams and that's supposed to help. So I looked out here and it looks like everything hasn't died overnight. It looks much healthier than when we planted in the other one. So I'm hoping the squash on the far end looks a little wilted. And some of the cucumbers look wilted, and some of them look fine. So I'm hoping that these are not going to die like everything did in the other side. But that's about all the day has been, is uh, just... We drove to Anchorage, we went to the neurologist, we went to the vet center in the VA clinic and the kids did some work around here and everybody's collapsed now. Tomorrow will be a full day. One without the neurologist, that'll be good. We love our neurologist, but these days are usually hard because they're days you can't deny that you have Parkinson's and it's progressing, but today it seems like things have pretty much stayed the same. So that was really an answer to prayer and a wonderful day.